Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana's channel, my name is Shanks and today we're gonna take a look into the Legends of the Third Age mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 1.06. Let's go on solo play, skirmish and let's pick up the brand new faction Lothlorien against a hard army on the beautiful map Forts of Eisen. Let's get it started. Oh yeah, I have not seen this before and we recently played the Shadow and Flame mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1 and this is yet another gr Oh, what is this? This looks quite different to me. <laughs> okay. So, build Tree of Life with F is the shortcut. F is pretty much the shortcut for potentially all the farms in BFMU 1, most of the farms at least. And we, to we have those Lorien Warriors now. Uh, Lorien Swordman Battalion. They are also able to switch the battle formation. Just like the... No, that's different. Light formation is gonna increase their uh, passive movement speed, but they will lose armor and damage. But it's nice early on when you wanna just reach to the opposite side of the map faster. So, in order to take a look into that, we're gonna switch one of them to the light formation. The other one is gonna be in the normal uh, formation. Wait a second, we have full the wagons here. We will be using the ring bearer to grab those settlements, okay? Okay, now... Uh, let's see. What is the movement? Oh, this guy's <laughs> this guy is running wild. What is his movement speed? He's out of control. He's an animal. <laughs> Holy guacamole. Who needs horses when you have Lorian warriors nowadays? I believe this faction doesn't need any calf units, but you are able to build calf if I'm not mistaken. Nolda barracks, Lothlorian barracks, and uh, the Alvin armory. No, you are not able to build a Stable. Maybe you are able to recruit those uh, lenses from these uh, barracks. Potentially. You are able to build the well and the statue. Powerpoint wise, we are able to pick up the Mirror of Galadriel, which is gonna spy on the enemy forces. And uh, heal. Let's pick up the heal. Just why not? Okay. So Ring Bearer can also grab this one. Uh, we can also use the one ring. He becomes invisible. And he has also this uh, legendary sting or stitch. What is the name of the sword again? I know on only the German version. Okay, we will be building more and more uh, Malon trees. I think that's the name of these. Yeah, Tree of Life. They are called Malon trees in BFME 2 or Rise of the Witch King. We're gonna take a look into every single hero also. For example, we have Elrond, also known as Agent Smith. Uh, Celebron. <laughs> I mean,. I feel bad for this guy because he's married with Galadriel, you know what I'm saying? And Galadriel, imagine you have a discussion with Galadriel. Imagine you are the husband of Galadriel and she's telling you what to do and you say no. Imagine for a single second what is going to happen to you. So we will be building only farms inside the base and then we're going to save for the heroes. Because before any units, I would like to take a look into every single hero from the Alvin faction. Let's creep this one. If he can, of course. We have here in the worst case scenario from the spellbook. But they are not dealing that much damage, to be honest. Okay. But we are in a go good position because we were able to lure one of them away from the lair. We need to kill the first one first. I mean, that makes kind of sense, but you know what I mean. Like, we need to kill one of them before focusing down the second one. And in the meantime, Frodo Baggins is doing his job and creeping this work lair at the bottom left side of the map. This is gonna work out. This work is quite powerful. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> this guy is like, thank you for the leash, brother. And just taking my farm. Are you a meme about my boy? Are you kidding me? Okay, uh, Haldir is the cheapest hero. Hello, Darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I mean, Haldir is always cheap. Uh, in every single BFME game. And he's an archer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe he might also be able to fight with the sword. You know, like an Elven warrior battalion from the Rohan faction be able to switch between the sword and bow. Imagine him getting blasted. Nah, nah. We are, we are good. This is the way. I'm trying to lure the work away into his... Yeah, there we go. Nice. Now the work can kill those peasants. I don't need to do anything about the situation. Frodo, in the meantime, was able to creep this one. Okay, nice, Frodo. And now we have Haldir. He has also the warning arrow, just like Faramir. Maybe that's gonna be the time for Hadir, the Alvin so hero, to show his fi to finally show his quality. Oh, he was also creeping this one. This guy's a madman. He was creeping quite a lot. Okay, we need to kill the last work and then we can grab the money on the ground. Now we have enough money for Arvin. And also Glorfindel is existing in BFMU1. That's quite dope. I like that. Because remember, 
How many peasants are here? That's crazy, but he's invisible around the trees. Oh, this guy is stalling my... How many peasants are there? We need calf unit. Look at the movement speed. Get invisible, please. Haldir has to be careful, Haldir, run for your life. We need to close the gate and hope for the best. Oh my goodness, that's harder than normal with him, you want. Trust me. Oh, we have, we have Arvin now, that's nice. Hey, do we have a gate or something? Do we have a gate here? I don't see a gate. I don't think we have a gate, guys. <laughs> Alright, we are, we are in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. We are in trouble. Uh, level 2? What is that? Arvin's uh, jud judgment. Powerful range attack with extra damage to monsters. Allies uh, are healed for a small amount. Can we heal also? Let's right click. Oh, it's like a Easter Light, I believe. But she's leveling up quite fast. With level 3. What is this? Arvin gains 30% movement speed, 50% more damage. Look, the movement speed. I mean, I like this mod already because this feels so much faster. Uh, but we don't have any time to waste. Oh, oh, be careful, Arvin. If you die. Oh, look at the move. What is this movement speed, ladies and gentlemen? That's crazy. <laughs> what is this? It's very hard to control. She is like crazy, crazy speed. Now it's gone. But she's level 6 now. Has also the power of the even star. Um, which I believe is... Oh, it's a buff to the allied heroes, I believe. Okay. Glorfindel, we need you. We need to get mounted. Okay, be careful, Arvin. Let's make Glorfindel stronger. That's gonna give him 75% uh, more armor. But he doesn't need that. He can trample them down all the time. Level 2, Haldir. Level 6, Arvin. Look at the buff. That's crazy. I like that. I really do. And uh, we lost every single outside farm, but it is how it is. Um, we can get this uh, not dismounted. We need to get them mounted because our opponent has mainly peasants on the field so far. As for expansion, we are able to build quite cheap towers around the fortress. We might need them. I'm, I'm going to actually build two of them in the front side. This way we have some sort of protection because we have no gate. We can't close the gate, I believe. No, we have no gate. Two power points collected, but we don't need to go for this one here. Elven Wood, okay. And Horn of the Woodland Realm. I believe that's similar to the War Chant from Isengard. Towers are actually doing a nice job. Okay, that, that's great. We have almost 3,000. That's gonna be... Oh, never mind. Oh my goodness, look at the price. 5,500. Recruit a strong eagle and the brother of Gwalior. Uh, Land Rovel. Sounds like the name of a car. <laughs> and we have Eldron with 4,400. But first of all, let's get the husband of the legendary Elven Queen Galadriel on the field, shall we? And we are only able to build those towers. We have nothing else. No siege weapons, no catapults, nothing like that. But I like the design of the Elven camp. That looks pretty nice to me. I like that. Okay. So we have to refight for the map control. He was Oh, there is Eomir. That's Theodian, sorry, not Ermia. And she has also this one now. Spell of the Loudwater summons a mighty flood upon your op opponent. I want to I wanna see that. I want to see the animation. Oh, the damage and, and everything is so fast. I like that. And also the voice animation from Arvin as she's using that. It's quite nice. I mean, I think it should be fine with level 3. Yes, the Elven Bleed. And uh, leadership with level 5. And last but not least, the captain of Galadrim summons Galadrim from Lothlorien. Okay? Look at the damage from these heroes. That's quite nice. Now we have the husband from Glorfindel. Uh, from not Glorfindel. <laughs> no, no, no. Not Glorfindel. My bad. From Galadriel, I mean. Sorry, sorry. Okay? Atelas and leadership. Leadership bonus, fear resistant to the nearby troops. And you have the light of Doriath. Uh, nervy enemy or uh, nearby enemy units flee. Units can experience Celebron's uh, blessing and a wrath of Celeborn. Lightning strikes upon enemies. Nice. Oh so we were able to destroy. I want to see the outpost from the Alvin faction. I want to see how it looks like. Looks like this. Nice. Level 4. Wait a second. Uh, level 8. Bonds of Friendship. 
passively gains 25% more damage, armor, and 200 uh, more HP. And with level 9 Mithril armor, it's going to increase his armor by 50%. Are we able to build towers here? The answer is no, but we can build a well, a statue, and a barracks potentially, right? Okay, I want to see the damage of this dude against those peasants first and against the farm leader. And I believe we are also... He's a swordsman. Looks like this. Nothing crazy. Not crazy um, textures in this mod, unlike in Shadow and Flame, which was pretty much copy-pasted from each of the ring. But it feels like he has splash damage. With that, I mean he's able to hit multiple units at the same time. Let's see the damage against the farm. Not bad. He is also attacking quite fast. I like that. So, uh, the well, the statue, and we are able now to recruit the Lorian Swordsmen. Lorian Guardians. Uh, I believe those are also Swordsmen. Then with level 2, we are able to recruit the Galadrim Warriors. I want to take a look into these units. And I like that a lot, that you are able to improve the building by paying a price. Just like in BFME 2 or Rise of the Witch King. I like that. And we are also able to build the end mood. Ends will hold cancel before being selectable. Ends will rely to your uh, cows if attacked. Okay, we are in a good spot. This Rohan just likes to spam peasants all the time. I have seen only peasants in Theorin so far. Be careful, this outpost is not attacking. And we need to get also this uh, the last two remaining heroes. We're gonna start with the Agent Smith, also known as Elrond, and la later... We will get the giant eagle on the field, okay? So what I want to do now is I want to group Hadir and Celebron with each other because they are those melee uh, heroes on foot. And we're going to draw the sword with Hadir and they're going to fight side by side. And we will have the mounted heroes Arvin and Garfindel next to each other. I hope Aragorn won't see that. I don't I don't want Aragorn to get jealous, you know? Okay, we have enough money now for Agent Smith. Nice. I'm actually quite surprised that you are not able to close the gate in this mod. There is indeed no gate, by the way. It's like a all-you-can-eat <laughs> base, you know? Okay, this one is going to be taking knowledge share experience. Kill this farm. Okay. You push from the bottom side, guys. Level 4 Hydra, that's nice. Alvin Blade. It's a passive thing. Uh, more damage and area effect when wielding the sword. That's great. And we're also going to take a look, of course, into the end mode. Just to see if there is any difference between the end mode from the Alvin faction and compared to the end mode from the Rohan faction, okay? And once again, guys, please let me know in the comment section down below which faction you would like to see next. We have also Moria as a brand new faction. And uh, I, I believe and I'm pretty sure that there are also many, many differences into the existing factions. You know, like Gondor, Isengard, Mordor and Rohan. He's a sw archer and swordsman at the same time. So that means we can group him with Haldir and uh, Celebron. Okay, so unlike... He has also one in yellow. Nice. The head Hefeng, which means uh, more damage and armor. It's like a blade master from Aragorn. Heal. Uh, leadership. And Whirlwind with level 10. So I believe he's more like a sportive hero. Uh, yeah. I believe, but I'm not sure. I want to see his damage output as well. And we need to make sure to not defeat our opponent fast enough. This way we will get the chance to see every single hero at least. Maybe not every single unit, but we will at least get to see many, many heroes. The only hero we are missing is the giant eagle anyway. Okay? I can't resist, guys. There is money on the ground. I cannot resist. Okay. Oh, he's closing the gates. And finally, some roll hit him. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I like this about this situation a lot? And the Elven heroes are so fast, and I like those mobile heroes a lot. This guy has like a Yiddy sword in his hands, this uh, Elrond, Agent Smith. Look at this design. Looks pretty nice. They are leveling up, they are so tanky. Holy moly. We have so many power points collected too. Let's pick up this one first. And then we can up pick up this one. Oh, nice. That's gonna make our heroes more tanky, and also more damage. That's crazy. Gifts of the Valar. Heroes gain 300 more HP and 25% more damage. Oh! Kill this, please. One of the heroes is low. Kill! Nice. In the last possible second. Not even close, baby. I wanted to, guys. I wanted to 
Do you guys think that this is close? But it's not even close. I was paying attention. Trust me on that one. Okay. So, are we able to attack the towers? No, no, no. The towers are doing a nice job. Aragorn is here. Look at this picture from Aragorn. But I believe he's pretty much the same. I don't know what this is. Oh, here my archers are chasing us down. Let's see the damage from Haldir. And also from Agent Smith. With arrows. We have no Legolas in this faction, by the way. No Legolas. But we have enough money now for a giant eagle. Okay. Let's use flat. Oh my goodness. The animations are crazy. And I like that a lot. I like that really a lot. Okay. Oh, what is this? Oh, he's building an ant mood. Oh. Okay. He's building an ant mood. Now the nightmare begins. Uh, but guess what? We will have an eagle very soon on the field, my friend. So let's demolish one of... What is that? Uh, Grand Harvest. Okay. Nice. I didn't know that this is a thing. Grand Harvest will give us more money, I believe. 50% more resources. That's crazy. Let's build the armory first. This is level 2. So we will get the chance to buy some Galadrim warriors. I believe those are the elite units. From the Elven faction. And there comes the gi a giant eagle. Uh, Screech with level 5. So he has nothing else as an ability. Screech pretty similar to the Felbys or the Nazgul from Mordor. But he has no wing blast. I want to see the damage against the ants. And that's the ant mood from Rohan. I want to also see the ant mood from... Uh, he doesn't deal too much damage to the uh, ants, by the way. I also want to see the ant mood from... The Alvin faction, Lothlorien. Oh, these ants, they don't joke. Holy moly, run, 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 you fools. Okay, Elrond is also crazy strong. Don't die. Oh my goodness, don't die, Elrond. Don't die! Oh my goodness. And more ants, really? The Agent Smith has been taken down, but it's fine. Agent Smith has been taken down, but that's fine. We will have to revive him, of course. Nice, let's do this. The Ladrim warriors are looking like this. They are also able to switch between sword and bow. I think he has an ant mood here, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a nightmare. These ants, they are everywhere. Let's kill him, please. Oh, he has even fire. Oh, Legolas. Oh, there, there, there's the Legolas. Okay, we don't kill Legolas. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's kill Legolas with uh, a hero who doesn't have everything up just yet. I don't want that uh, Glorfindel. I want that Glorfindel gets the last hit. This way he will get some levels. Which is gonna be great now. Level 7, that's nice. Yes, also now the Elven Sanctuary. That will heal nearby troops, okay? Starlight with level 5, but he needs to be dismounted. To be able to use it. Please do something. Throw the Baggins, what are you doing? Feel of Galadriel, maybe? But doesn't affect the ends, of course. We have 8 power points collected now. Which can be invested. I want to get uh, Lady Galadriel. But let's let's pick up this one first. And let's use this. Which is called uh, Alliance with Man. Summons Numenorian Warriors. Kill this end mode, please. Look, throw the Baggins. Taking care of this end like a madman. Okay. Elrond is back in the business. That's great. Let's select all the heroes um, besides the eagle. And let's get dismounted with every single one of them. Okay? So what is the Starlight doing? We will get the chance to see that. Blade of Purity. Where is, where, where, oh, you are so far away. Aragorn is here. Attack and Gimli. Oh my goodness. Be gone, fell beast. Fell things. Oh, Arwen is taking care of her, <laughs> of her husband. <laughs> okay, so Barak's is level 2 fire will be purchased next. We were able to destroy this and let's take a look into the end mood as well. Just why and not. Another end mood is coming up. Am I surprised? Of course not. Let's use heal. And what is the starlight doing? Uh, nearby troops gain more damage. Okay. Can we kill those ants though? Look at the ant army, ladies and gentlemen. Level 10. Let's summon more units. Let's peel back. Those heroes, they will die eventually. And we have almost the power points we need for the part of the heavens. But let's pick up this one first. All, elf, all elves regenerate passively when out of combat. All, evil, all elven infantry is now uh, invisible in the trees. Okay. Another ant mood is coming up. This guy is a cra This is our ant mood. I forgot. <laughs> My bad. Okay, we need the eagle here. 
Now we've also ends mode, my friends. Looks pretty much the same way. Are we also able to recruit... Uh, no, we are not able to recruit... Treebeard. He's exclusively fighting for... The Rohan faction. Look at this. Uh, end army. That's crazy. Are they gonna be gone very soon? Most of them at least. Nice. Okay, now we can buy all the upgrades from the Armory. Forge Blades, Heavy Armor and the Banner, of course. Where is Agent Smith? He's taking some damage. Celebron is level 8. And Lightning Strikes open enemies. Let's use this. Oh! That's great! I like that. That looks nice. That looks really nice. So level 10 Arwen. Uh, also sounds like the Lightning, uh, lightning Strike from uh, Gandalf. And once again, the Alvin heroes, they are so fast. Let's kill this end mood ends. Okay, nice. So we are able to deal with those peasants as well. That's nice. And we can also take a look now into this... Oh, we have Frodo got killed. We can take a look maybe into... Uh, the second barracks. The heavy arm... Are they permanent? Yeah, they are permanent. Okay, I didn't know that. That's... Okay. So the summon Numenor Warriors is permanently on the field. Really didn't know that. Are we able to buy Blitz on them? Yes, we are able to buy the... But they come already with all the upgrades in level 4. They are also only able to level up to level 4, not to level 10. What about the normal units? That's what I want to know. What is this? Loading Guardians. We can take a look into them as well. We have only 200 command points available, by the way. And we are building this barracks and we are not building this barracks yet. This is the Noldor barracks. I believe from this barracks you are able to get those stronger units on the field, if I'm not mistaken. Let's rebuild the Zeta around the fortress. And, uh, yeah, I'm always assuming uh, that this is the fortress, because I'm so used that the fortress is in the middle of the base, but that's not being the key. Oh, <laughs> look at this ends, though. Let's use Flat. I want to see the damage from Flat against them. Okay, I mean, there are trees, they don't. They will just say thank you, pretty much. Every time you wash them with the water like that, they will say thank you. Oh, hi there, okay, okay. Run for your life, my friend. Uh, we need Agent Smith being level 10. I want to see the whirlwind. I think that's the only thing we are missing, pretty much, right? This eagle has, the, has this screech, but it's not needed right now. I also want to see this uh, lady, lady of Light. What is this? Mist, okay. This one are the Entalies. This is Rallying Horn. This is the Light of Erendil. Stun the enemy units. They are gone from this lands. Nice. Okay, so this is the barracks of Noldor. We are able to recruit... Oh, we, have, we are able, actually able to recruit the Elven Riders. The Noldor Swordmen. The Noldor Archers. And the Noldor Spearmen. More ends. Nice. Great. Oh, nice. Finally, we got the Lady of Light. He has to be careful. Okay. So what is this? Are we able to recruit Galadriel now? Yes. For 5,000. Okay, I want to see that. So you are able to unlock this from the spellbook. And then you are able to recruit her afterwards from the Zeta. Nice, nice, nice. Those are the Lorien Guardians. Okay. Let's give them everything that we need. Those are the starting units. The Lorien Swordmen. And we are out of money now. So Even more ends are coming. That's crazy. Haldir is to be careful. Don't die, Haldir. I mean, I want to just heal them for the worst case scenario. And you can also fight with the sword, by the way. You don't uh, need to fight with the uh, bow, Agent Smith, if you don't mind, of course. Because this way we can share experience, right? Okay, let's kill everything from this area. And we also need uh, nine more power points for the uh, part of heaven, part the heavens. I want to see that. Summon some mighty claw break. I hope that's not a claw break like from Beef Me 1 vanilla game, which is like a, a stun. <laughs> would be kind of a shame if this would be the case. Let's kill this end. I mean, the Alvin heroes are hitting like a truck, by the way. They are hitting like an absolute truck. There we go. Nice. The only hero missing is uh, this dude. All the other heroes we are able, already able to see. They are maximum strength. And I'm also curious about Galadriel. Will she come out with level 1? Yeah, rank 1. Okay, we have some units coming from the top side, but it should be fine. Oh, that's... Who's this? Oh, that's Glamoring. Or Gambling. It's Gambling. The Gambling. 
He gets one-shotted from our heroes. That's how strong we are right now. Holy moly, okay? Oh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. The Elven Queen herself. A blast of blind. Blast back enemies. A project projection. Teleport. Nice. Let's do this. Oh! Welcome to League of Legends Spotlight featuring Galadriel, the Elven Queen. <laughs> okay, so Nenya throws three balls, three balls of energy. Nice. Terrible Fury, a wave of healing, heal units in a large area around Galadriel. And last but not least, Power of Lo Florian deals massive damage in a line, blast surrounding enemies away. And let's see the auto attack, anim uh, auto -attack animation. But the most expensive hero is the eagle. Oh yeah, she's able to deal also splash damage, means she's able to hit multiple units. Oh, I am no man from downtown, but she's responding, I'm also no man. <laughs> I wanna see the fight of the ladies, Lady Irvin versus Lady Galadriel. Sit down, Lady, Gal Lady Irvin. I'm the lady of PFME. Trust me on that one. Okay, one, two. <laughs> All right, you need Faramir here, Lady Irvin. She doesn't get, get, get the chance to do anything. Level 2 unlocked. Nenya available. Let's use it. Oh, Aragorn. Oh, okay. He's even using the Blade Master. Aragorn doesn't care. Aragorn is a tanky. I want to see this. Is it de dealing damage? Or knocking him up? No, 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 no. Okay, run, run. Galadriel. You will need the help of uh, Edron. Or maybe from the Vive. <laughs> There's Arvin. She's like, you, are, you might be my husband, but Lo Florian is my homeland. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need to make sure that uh, Agent Smith is the one. Get, who's getting the last? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Agent Smith, do your thing. Kill him. Okay, Agent Smith forgot the last hit. But he isn't gaining too, ma too much experience. Oh, there is Legolas. Let's kill him next. Um. Okay. So let's recruit every single unit from this one. We can also move from this area if we need to. The statue, by the way, gives you, uh, you know, cost reduction of the heroes and also leadership bonuses to the nearby allied heroes. The elven heroes are so fast, really fast. I want to take a look into the calf, but first of all, let's take a look into the all the spearman units. They are very, very expensive. Oh, 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 oh. okay. Be careful. Where is Elrond? Elrond, do your thing. Elrond, you need to kill. You need to get level ten. I want to see all whirlwind. Okay, level 8, nice. Uh, Lady Galadriel, you can also teleport if you want to. Can we heal, actually? Uh, what is this? Okay, so is it also healing? Yeah, it's also healing. It's like a well. Uh-oh. Okay. Didn't see that coming, but it's nice. We need to kill units anyway to be able to get the power points from this spellbook. So I'm down. These are the Noldo Spearman units. You are only able to buy them banner. Shield formation looks like this, like the tower guards, pretty much. What is this? Gambling. What are you doing, gambling? Okay. So almost there. We have seven power points collected. Also, Galadriel can join the party. Even Frodo can join the party. I don't mind that. I believe there is an end mode. Yeah, we need to kill those ends. As soon as we possibly can. We were able to protect this area. That's great. And these are the Nolder Archer Battalion. You know, we are able to buy the Silvertone Arrows. Plus 10 water damage, extra damage against structures, left click to activate. Oh, it's like an active thing. Okay, Silvertone Arrows. I like the animation of uh, Galadriel. She's looking pretty strong. But his ends are burning now. To the uh, Galadriel Battalion with the fire. We will help you fight this war. We will, we will help, you, help you to fight this war. The Noldor Swordman Battalion. Once again, you are not able to buy any upgrades. Oh, you are able to combine them, howsoever. That's nice. Noldor Swordman Archer Battalion. That's great. Okay, we are pretty much winning only with Heroes of Lord Florian. And that's kind of crazy, this thing. I believe this, um, yeah. Gifts of Valar. Make the heroes tank here. Aragorn once again. Okay, wait. Agent Smith, it's your time to shine. Shine bright like a diamond, Agent Smith. And you guys can kill Eowyn. Aragorn is running for his life. Okay, wait. I want to see this one you want once again. Level 9, that's great. Okay, nice. She's level 4 now with level 10. Or level 9, she's unlocking the power of Lo Florian. And I believe we need to get to see that too. 
But first of all, I mean, we need to kill still quite a lot to get her to level 9, right? But Elrond is going to get level 10 faster. Definitely faster. And these are the Lancers. Remember the Lancer Battalion? We are able to buy heavy armor, forge blades, and also banner carry on them. Okay? Nice. So we have a couple of options. Do we destroy this outpost? I guess we have to. Oh, he has Rohirrim now with upgrades. I like that. Nice. 10 power points collected. Finally. Uh, part of the heavens, or part of the heavens, is finally unlocked. I want to see this animation. Trust me on that one. Eagle, you can maybe capture this farm here for us. Instead of being idle in the base. And we are also able to purchase this farm. Okay. So it's a matter of time. Let's kill these units with... Uh, the heroes. This way we can finally get them level 10, hopefully. I mean, every single one of them is level 10, but... Uh, Elrond and Galadriel. That's it. So what we can also potentially do, is we can group them and just fight with these heroes instead. Because there is nothing to accomplish with the other heroes, right? Oh, there is Gimli. Okay, there is... <laughs> I was like, who is this? Is this the Hobbit? No, no, it's Gimli. But he's a bit faster here. He's chasing down the Hobbit. Don't do that. Okay, finally. Nice. We can even send these heroes back. Okay. Level 5. Almost level 10 Elrond. Come on, Elrond. Come on, Agent Smith. You can do that. Okay, she has the wave of healing. Oh. Some small fight. There is Legolas. That's great for us. Like, leave the last hit on Elrond. It might be enough to get the level 10. Hopefully. Is it going to be enough? Almost, it's almost enough. We can destroy the farm. And Galadriel, you know what we can, what we can do with Galadriel? Oh, we, Legolas died already so fast, really? Okay, we don't need to do anything with Galadriel in this case. We are also able to pick up the um, Mirror of Galadriel. But let's pick up the End Allies first. For three power points only, that's crazy. Okay. So let's summon the Ends. How many Ends are getting summoned? One? Two? Okay, just like in Rohan. Uh, in BFMU 2, I mean. Okay. There is Theorin. I would like to kill him. You know, with Galadriel or Elrond. Ideally, Elrond should be the one who gets to kill him. He's dealing absolutely no <laughs> He's dealing no damage to three. <laughs> oh, he's so weak. King of Rohan. More like King of Brohan. Okay, let's throw some rocks. Come, Elrond. You can do that. Elrond. Elrond. Use your Bleed Master. Let's see the damage against... Oh my goodness, he's hitting like a truck. Level 10? Almost level 10. He's gonna get level 10, right? He has to get level 10, right? Come on. Nice, level 10 unlocked. That's great. Can we break the gate? I guess we can, but we don't have much time left anymore. And we can now take a look also into this one, but I wanna wait. Looks like the sunlight. Also, the image is looking like sunlight. Sunlight, I mean. Okay. We will be able to break the gate. That's great. Let's use the whirlwind. Oh, you are also able to control the whirlwind. It's, it's pretty slow though. Does it damage also the buildings? Let's try to destroy the tower with that. I'm curious. We will see though. Um, I believe it does no damage to the buildings. I might be wrong though. Let's see on the armory. Oh, it's able to damage the buildings in the... Oh my goodness. The whirlwind. There is no counter play. I believe you can't even target this. Let's use this one, the sunlight. I don't know what's going on. It's burning. You're damaging over time. Oh, I think she got one-shotted. Oh, I don't know what's going on. I want to I see that. I want to see that. Then there is a bear family coming also. Eagle, you can buy this one. Nice. Oh, it didn't deal too much damage to the buildings, though. Uh, Elrond has to be careful. He can use heal in the worst case. It's fine. Uh, Galadriel can fight. Galadriel can fight. She's strong. She's strong. Don't chase. Don't chase. Nice. So what is this? Okay, we already have this one. Level 7. Two levels away only. It's doable. It's doable. Okay. So we can get inside the jeans, maybe. I believe she's quite tanky. She has 4,500 HP, so way more than Agent Smith, for example. And this is the level 10. It's a Mithril male level 9. It's passive. Okay, that's the army I understand. Nice. Let's use project projection against the fortress. Okay, that's do nothing. 
Oh, it's teleport. Oh, I forgot. Okay. Okay, I believe we are in trouble here. The teleport is on cooldown. Ah, uh, she's gonna die. Oh, she's kind of squishy. I, uh, I overestimated her. Uh, you are not able to heal herself. Press S all the time. Can, if you get away from this situation, I will give you guys 10 subs on Twitch. On Twitch.tv. Uh, Twitch. Oh, never mind. I don't give you anything anymore. <laughs> okay, we need to revive her though. I think it's time to end this duel. It's time to end this duel. Agent Smith. So, all the heroes gather together. Assemble. This Elmer, though, look at the picture. He's level 6 for whatever reason. Okay. We can't use anything of these. And. Uh, okay, let's use this for the sustain. Alright, so. Do something. Come on, come on, heroes. What is this? Entalyze is available once again. We have 7 power points collected now, which means we can also get the mist. Shrouds the entire map in mist. All ally forces get more armor, more movement speed, and more range, and fear resistant for 1 minute and 30 seconds. That's nice. Let's take a look into that. Mist is enabled now. Yeah. Covers the map into, into mist, indeed. And makes our allied unit stronger. <clears throat> you can't handle him. He's so fast. Aragorn is also so fast. Aragorn against the Elven heroes, ladies and gentlemen. Frodo Baggins is taking care of Aragorn. <laughs> Yet even the Anduril Sword. What are those Guardians? Or Dwarven Extrovers? Didn't see them coming. Okay. So we have three power points collected. We can also invest this into this uh, horn of the Woodsland Realm. Even though we have not many units around. What is this actually? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's do this. Look at this. That's great, dude! I like that! It's really nice. Nervy enemy units flee. I wanna I wanna see this too. Oh okay, you wanna fight? You wanna play rough? Say hello to my little friend. You better run, but are you fast enough? Can you outrun the husband of Galadriel? The answer is no, you are gone. You are goners. Galadriel, come on. How long do you need? We can't finish the game without Galadriel. That's not possible. This eagle is doing nothing, by the way. Okay. So let's kill this farm, shall we? And now we officially unlocked every single power point from the Spellbook of Lothlorien 2 in the Legends of the Third Age mod of BFMU 1. That's great. If many, many units in the base, they are doing nothing but chilling. But that's fine. We don't need them. We don't need them. I wanted to just see every single unit which is existing. This one is going to be taken down by the eagle. Let's use the screech. What, what happened? I didn't hear anything, by the way. Okay. Okay, she's back in the business. Yeah, the will of the ring grows strong. And the part of the heavens is once again available. Has like a short cooldown. I like that. Let's use the Elvin Wood and the Alliance with Man. Then we can also summon this one more time. Um, but I can't. I wanna, there we go. Let's use it. Okay. It deals also friendly fire. No, 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 no. It doesn't. It's like a spotlight, dude. <laughs> but he was, it was able to break the gate. That's nice. Forward. Forward. Okay, so it's time to shine bright like a diamond. This eagle is doing nothing automatically. Please attack them. Galadriel, do your thing. Let's go inside the jeans, but let's make sure that Galadriel is not the one who is tanking. She is still one and a half levels away from this power of the Lothlorien. And I believe it's going to be hard for us to get it accomplished. But we might maybe get lucky here. Let's see. We have the Blast of Light. Oh, but he is taking so much damage. Heal. Oh, oh, what is that? I was using this one, Mirror of Gladiel. Okay. Oh, he, he's taking so much damage. Uh, you can use this. 
So units are able to heal up over time. She's not even level 8 yet. But that is out no, the, the outpost is gone. So if we defeat this base, it's gonna be over. Do we have Atelas or something? No Atelas, right? No. But we have heal. Oh yeah, from uh, Elrond. We can use the Whirlwind. Whirlwind is doing a nice amount of damage against the farms too. And we have also now the Mist. We can use it. We can use this. Doesn't matter. We can use anything here yeah, and everything. Let's call the ants because they are our friends. And we destroyed them. Hard army has been defeated and we were just fleeing the Lothlorien faction in the Leg Legends of the Third Age for BFME 1 on the patch 1.06. And once again, also the Lumoria faction is a thing. But also, I believe that Rohan, Gonzo, Isengard and Mordo got also many, many changes. So please let me know in the comment section down below which faction you would like to see next time. Make sure to leave a like on this video, guys. Likes are helping quite a lot. Thanks for watching. I see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves and as always... Stay beyond standards and keep hitting like a truck. Peace.